We've been playing teams the second time around. They have a little bit better feel for us. And we played them pretty good the first time, but we knew that they'd be ready for us this time. Uh, personally, I thought we'd win a little bigger than that, but you can't underestimate anybody. And Western's beaten us here before since I've been here, so it's uh, not a surprise that they played us tough. I only think the biggest thing was getting a pass rush, and their quarterback's pretty mobile, and it was pretty tough on those sprint outs and stuff to get a good rush. Uh, he played well today. We know as a scrambling quarterback, we have to, in the secondary, just find a guy as soon as he starts scrambling and just go with him. And uh, all week, you know, we kind of practice to that, like scramble drills and stuff. And uh, this is kind of the game that, as a secondary, we love because they're passing attack. You know, that's when we get all our action. And so, it was, like we were saying last night in our meetings, you know, this is the game that we play for, you know. There's a couple close calls on the sideline catches and uh, another one where they our corner took the ball away from them, but you know you got to play. They can't change the call, so we just got to get back on defense and keep playing. Calls can go either way. We can't really rely on how the refs are going to do. We knew that it was up to us to, you know, make a big plays. We had the 21 to six lead. We had the wind. We stopped them on their first drive. We had the ball just over midfield, and we didn't do anything with it. And uh, those are things that come back to haunt you. We had two big turnovers in that third quarter, and that uh, that almost beat us. I think we just came out really flat that second half. Western really came out at, uh, at half and really got after us and really, really beat us around. It was a little nerve-wracking, but I really trust our offense, and they, they seem to come through every time. Uh, at the end there, it was great. Matt Ritter was running around getting first downs, and Travis Brown finally got a catch, and uh, it was a big play to set up our field goal. You know, we uh, we we worked uh, me in rotation a little bit uh, through practice in the week. Uh, you know, they uh, said there was a good chance that I'd, uh, that I'd be going in on certain plays, but uh, having to step in uh, it was a big task to fill in for Dan because he's a great player. It seemed like for three quarters, uh, every time we threw the ball, something bad happened. And Matt goes in there, he throws well on the run. Nick Howitt does a great job with him getting him on the perimeter. And then he does some things great with his feet. He got a couple of big first downs for scrambling. And that was a real key, you know, to keep the drive alive and the clock running. I didn't want to, uh, going back to pass, I didn't want to force anything. Uh, and get it, uh, throw anything into traffic. So you know, going running with my feet was the best option. I mean, uh, they they, uh, they they there were some good hits out there, but you know, uh, I think uh, the, the line just uh, kept it going for me. And the receivers uh, making downfield blocks so I could uh, do do what I, what I could with my feet. Whenever he pulls it down, we know he'll make plays with it. So. I'm confident in what he does when he runs the ball. There's only a minute some left. They only had one timeout left that we could keep him out of the end zone. We were talking about what we wanted to do in overtime and what type of coverage we wanted to play down the red zone. But uh, lucky for us, Matt and Travis uh, connected one time, and uh, uh, big-time players come through. It seems like this year I've taken more chances on fourth down plays and some other things, and I don't know why. That's not my nature. I just felt that, you know, Zach would putt in the ball, but gosh, if we only got a 10, 15 yard, and I just wanted the offense to have some success, and he got one first down and been all over. But, uh, you know, luckily for Matt Ritter and uh, Zach Fury, they, they, uh, they pulled us out. I was actually pretty calm because we weren't losing, so if I miss it, it's not like we lose the game. So I was pretty confident, actually. I didn't have too many butterflies, and I've been warming up on the sideline the whole drive. So I was feeling pretty good. Everybody was jumping on me. I couldn't even make out what most people were saying. Everybody was just screaming and hitting me in the head, and it was fun. That's the first game winner I've ever hit, so it was awesome. It was a good feeling.